um, good morning everyone um, I'm just going to show you how I make oat swallow so um, I use it as a replacement for a bar, a mala, what have you because it's um, healthier it's full of fiber and it doesn't have as much calories as our pounded yam has and then it also saves me of my pound of yam and other African meals so this is the oats I get from Costco if you look at the bottom it has two bags and each bag weighs about 2.5 kilos making a total of five kilograms I think I get this for about nine nine dollars I believe so this is the same oat I drink to make like the oats meal cereal and then I blend it to flour sometimes I add the flour to my pancakes so, for example, if I'm making regular pancakes, I could replace half the flour with oatmeal flour. So you mix it healthier, then it packs it with more, with more fiber. So I'm just going to blend it from scratch, and then I'll make it all. And then you can see, and you can always try it at at home. So right here is my blender. Oh, and this is the one I soaked for, for breakfast myself and my family members so I usually scoop the oatmeal into another pouch for me so you could also use this this was the one I used when I was single I just kept the pouch for me to be able to divide my oatmeal so I would put um, some into my blender I'm not measuring I do have oatmeal flour but I just want to show you from the scratch so that you can see it so I'm adding that lot into my blender and um, I'll be blending it into super fine flour if you don't have a powerful blender you can you might as well just get the oatmeal flour from African stores or you wait for 24 or 4 foods to resume shipping and then she can help you with that so my flour has, and my blender does have if flour or meal button so I'm just going to be turning it on and currently is on the IQ so this is the flour meal button so I'm just going to switch it to that it's going to take me one minute and 30 seconds to blend this lot into super fine oatmeal flour I'm done blending and I'm just going to scoop a little for you to see so this is as smooth as um, yam flour for Amala so most times when I'm done blending I just you could also use this brand too I did use that as well so I just kept all my jars and pouches so I add I, once I'm done blending I usually pour the flour into this for preservation and um, so I have the ones that were previously blended and you don't have to see you just blend so and right now I'm boiling this is 1.5 cups of water so I'm just gonna wait for that to boil and then we would start the process so my water is boiled I'm just going to scoop out a little so I'll add it to the powder as time goes on it doesn't matter the amount I'm just gonna scoop out a little. so most times when I'm making it I don't usually measure but because of you guys I have to measure so um, I don't know if I'll exhaust the flour I have my spatula you can use your Omoru turning stick so I'm just going to add the flour and then I'll start stirring it's just like you usual camera so the water I took earlier I'm just going to add that to it in bits and 
just leave it to cook for a while. So you can see it's started to form into a dough. I don't know if I can call it a dough. But at least you get you get my drift. So I just added the lit, uh, the um, last part of water. So for three over four cup, I assume one point five cups of water should be enough. But you just have to add the water gradually, so you don't end up with a running oat swallow. You want it, you want you want to have a particular consistency. So it's meant to feel like when you're eating wheat. So I've turned it a couple of times. And if you can see, so some people might want it a little lighter than this. And what I've realized is even if you add water, it takes in the water when, when you don't add too much, right? So um, I would add a little more water to it. So this is the water I added. Should be more than two tablespoons. And it's very versatile. So it's usually bland when you're eating and it takes on the taste of whatever soup you are having with it. Can you see that it's beginning to feel like amala? I don't have a trifold stand yet, so I'm making it with my right hand and holding the phone with my left hand. That should be my next investment, a tripod stand. So if you take a good look at this, you can see, I'm trying to device a way I can hold it and then turn it properly so I can give it to work. Yeah, I do need a tripod stand. So it's ready but i want to you know ah i don't know the english word for that for my yoruba people i want to komora like whip it well with my hands so here you go this is what it looks like now after whipping it all together so i'm just going to scoop it into a cling film wrap to just wrap it up remember that i mentioned this yesterday so this is what i use i use the better croaker stretch and seal so i already cut the portion i needed and spread it out in the plates so i'll just um scoop the oatmeal into it and then wrap it up so it looks nice and presentable so it's been scooped so i'll just wrap it up and then we would weigh it so you can have an idea of when you make three over four cup of oatmeal flour what it's meant to weigh if you're trying to watch your intake of calories and I forgot to add that this is diabetic friendly so if you have diabetes or if you're just trying to watch what you eat or the fit fam gang this is like the best swallow and it tastes amazing like I can't remember the last time I had, I had Eba so it's either these or um, Amala or um, I, I do the white amala and the black amalas and as well as so my pounder is like once in two weeks I do this more often and I'm not really technically like a swallow person of course for me it's just stress but um, I'm married to someone who likes swallow so I make it from time to time and believe me my husband has never tried this until he met me and now he's a thorough believer so anybody can like this no matter how picky of an eater you are so I'm just going to wrap it up and then I would weigh it so that we can just have an idea of how much this particular amount weighs so you can have a particular serving size for yourself. So this is it all wrapped up nicely and so it kind of, I'm not sure if it's the same size as my fist. Yeah, it's actually smaller than my fist in a way, but whatever. So we're just going to measure it and then get the accurate weight of this particular item. Of this particular meal so i have a manual skill i don't have the digital skill i got this from superstore and i think i got it for 13 i think 13 dollars or so because i learned my baking and everything using a manual skill so i still find it difficult using a digital skill so i'm just going to bring it to zero so we can just get so right now so right now the, the skill is at zero and then I'm just going to put our oatmeal swallow. 
wow so this particular oatmeal swallow weighs about one two say two to ninety grams because when you look at the beak so this is zero and then hundred and then two hundred and yeah so it's about um one second hundred two hundred to ten to twenty two thirty it's actually about two hundred and thirty three hundred and thirty grams so when you check the pack of your oats they usually write the um calories per serving and whatever size mix up the serving so when you're calculating also bear in mind that you're going to add the soup and then the meat and the fish and then if you decide to down it with coke add the calories of coke and the sugar content so this this is about 230 grams just so you know but it's okay because i think about 100 grams of this weighs 100 it's about 100 calories so if you're having this at a sitting with or cross soup all you just have to calculate is probably your cross soup because this will this would probably be about 200 and something calories because oatmeal is actually less in calories but you can imagine how much calories this would this would be if it were to be pound because 100 grams of pound weighs about is about 140 calories so yeah all you know what i'm trying to say is oatmeal swallow is very good for you you're trying to watch your weight you're trying to be fit fam and i just showed you a to z of how i make it i've never bought oat flour outside i usually just buy that and i blend and we're a family of two and um the five kilos last us about three months so i get it once every three months thank you for your time it's nice having you today bye